and we welcome you to Oak Ridge High School, where tonight it's one of Houston's greatest volleyball rivalries. Well, heck, the two schools are across the highway from each other. It's one of the great rivalries in Houston, if you will, as we bring you Oak Ridge and Woodlands Volleyball here on the KMAX Sports Bite Media Network. I am KMAX Sports President Chuck Licata, and proud to have called many a state semifinal and final. Love great volleyball. We're going to have some great volleyball tonight. Joe, joining me tonight is Joe Lynn, uh, Todd James up on the camera, and Suna Cat, KMAX Sports uh, Tech Director, running the show. Let's say a little Rosie. Thank to her for her time. She is our QA tonight back at the KMAX Studios, making sure that we are on, looking and sounding as good as we can. And Mr. Joe Lynn from the uh, TAV Volleyball uh, Club will, will talk about everything going on there because there's a whole bunch of stuff going on at TAV Houston. But... Here, I mean, we just got done with a three-match JV match. You'd think it was a varsity playoff match. Just the atmosphere was just electric, and it's just JV. I mean, and and now you see this rivalry, you know, right here. It's it's going to be awesome tonight. Talk about, and, and, of course, you know several of the players. I mean, a lot of players have come through your system, if you will, uh, that are out in the court today. Just talk about, first of all, talk about the athleticism that folks are going to see on the court with these great players. Yeah, you got some of the best athletes in the state on both sides of the net and a lot of intensity on defense, really. Um, that's going to be, uh, you know, Woodlands has a little bit more size than Oak Ridge, but uh, Oak Ridge has that tenacity and grit. And uh, they're they're one and one on the year. Here's the rubber match. Uh, in one of these teams, probably both of them, you'll see them in the playoffs by the end of the year for sure. That's right, Woodlands swept. Uh, Oak Ridge in what was the district opener way back way back in uh, August and then the two met for the third place uh, game at the Ballypalooza tournament the last of the three uh, non-district tournaments and Oak Ridge beat Woodland so like you said this is kind of the rubber match between the two now standings wise Joe it's obviously a little bit different Woodland's at 8-0 and uh, Klein Oak right behind them at 7-1 and their only loss of course coming to Woodland's and then Oak Ridge, Klein College, and College Park all at five and three. Two of those three teams will make the playoffs. One of them won't. And then you consider the fact that four teams in this district, depending on which pool you're looking at, you've got the number one team in the state. You've got four of the top 25 teams in the state. Again, depending on what pool you look at, it's just wrong you have so much talent. And that's not to say anything about Klein Oak, Klein Kane, Conroe, uh, Klein Force. They're not bad either. They're just in the wrong district this year. Yeah, it's, I think, one of the toughest, if not the toughest district in the state for sure. I mean, you have four Region 2 semifinalists in the same district, and that's not even including Oak Ridge. You got knocked out in a close uh, playoff match last year. So, I mean, one, like you said, Klein Col you know, where the standings look right now, you know, it could be Klein Collins, College Park, Oak Ridge. One of those teams is going to be looking, at, looking on, on the outside looking in to get into playoffs. And that's not to say... You know, maybe Klein doesn't slip a little bit, and all of a sudden they're in that predicament of, you know, being tied with the two teams. There's only two-game separation between them and, and the the big three, if you will. Well, and that's, that's why this match is huge, because Woodlands wants to stay undefeated, and Oak Ridge has got to move back up in those standings to secure that uh, one of those top four spots. And, of course, as if you needed any more drama, you've got Rachel Crowley, the first-year head coach of Oak Ridge, who came from head coach Terry Wade staff at the Woodlands. Yeah, there's, uh, I mean, they're, they're friends, but there's a, definitely a friendly robbery that just every year Oak Ridge and Woodlands are fighting for it, so why not add another uh, wrench in there for the, <laughs> for, for the uh, added drama, I guess you could say. Well, speaking of the two coaches, we got a chance to visit with each one. We'll let you hear what they had to say about the match. First, you hear from Coach Crowley from Oak Ridge and then Coach Wade from the Woodlands. First and foremost, thanks for allowing us to come out, and hopefully we didn't um, uh, we didn't impose on you too much here. No, no, no not at all. <laughs> um, talk about the the matchup tonight. I, I mean, obviously coming from the Woodlands, you know this rivalry and what it means. Yeah, I mean, uh, anytime you're in the same district, same town, and you play each other every year, there's going to be a rivalry. But uh, we're just really focusing on our side of the net, uh, taking care of things that we need to take care of. Um, this district's very competitive. Uh, it's tough games every week, so it's just another tough game. <laughs> yeah. um, since you came from the Woodlands, does it 
is it a little weird for you, or have you really sunk into the Oak Ridge community and it's like, okay, there are opponents and that's all that matters? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's weird. I'm a very friendly person by nature, <laughs> so uh, I, I definitely bought into Oak Ridge and our community and parents, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's volleyball. Volleyball community is small. Uh, the circles are small. If you know one person, you probably know them all, so... <laughs> Just keep it, keep it friendly. <laughs> um, you guys have played twice now or three times? Twice? Two times, yes. Okay, and you, you've won, each one won, right? Yes, we did. Um, we lost our district opener, and then we won uh, against them for third place at Volleypalooza. Okay. All right, so in a sense, this is kind of the rubber match, besides the fact that you're trying to win to stay in the playoff hunt. Right. I mean, a win... You know, we're trying to win every game, but we got ourselves in the three-way tie, so that's we're trying to win that tie right now. So a win here would be nice. I think we're capable. We're going to compete, but, you know, we're trying to break that tiebreaker for third. So, yeah. <laughs> um, how is your team now compared to where it was when we saw Matt Volleypalooza? I mean, we've lost a couple matches, but I'd rather lose now than in October. Uh, right. You know, we, we're definitely learning a lot about who we are in our team. We compete every day. We still come to practice and work hard. Um, we've got four setters, four people on the team that can set at any time. Uh, so we've got a lot of depth there. I have a lot of defenders um, and even, you know, a lot of pin hitters. So we really have a ton of options, which... Uh, is huge in this district, you know, being able to play people if somebody gets hurt, somebody uh, might just have an off night, you know, we've got next man up, so. If there's an X factor tonight that will put Oak Ridge over the Woodlands, what would that be? I think we're just, we're just going to do our thing, go out there, compete. Um, we treat every opponent the same. We could be playing the Woodlands or anyone else in our district, and we're just going to go out there and bring it. I uh, think people who play us know that we work hard. We go all out. Um, I'd say max effort is something we're known for, so we're just going to keep rolling with giving it everything we got every point. So. Awesome. Coach, thanks so much for the time. We appreciate it. Thanks for letting us come out. Again, I hope we didn't pose too much, and a good luck tonight. Thank you. All right, be right back after this. Sound off. Tell us what you think right here on Twitter at KMAX Sports. Welcome back to pregame. Chet Licata with Woodlands coach Terry Wade. And, and coach, first and foremost, thanks for allowing us to come out and, and do the broadcast. I mean, this is this is just one of those rivalries. Folks in Austin and, and the other areas may not know, but, I mean, you talk about these two, these two teams and I guess any sport, let alone volleyball, it's just a major rivalry. Yeah, it is. I, I think the schools, it's just been kind of a, a long-standing rivalry in every sport that we play. And I think the students really get just excited about playing them. And, and they'll have a huge crowd out here tonight. And it's their junior high night. And it's already loud. The, yeah, I know, right? the gym isn't even half packed, and it's already loud. So. Um, having a coach from your staff come over to the other side, if you will, how is that? It's hard because I, I can't sit and talk strategy with her anymore because then she knows my game plan. And, you know, we both really enjoy the game and, and love talking about it together, so it does make it hard. It's funny. When I talked to her, she's, I kind of asked her the same question. In reverse, she's like, but I'm a nice person. I like them. You know, but it's kind of like, okay, when, when the whistle blows, then yeah, we kind of forget about that. Definitely. Yeah, um, I, I think that's one thing that her coming over, the rivalry – has it always been friendly? So we kind of feel like, you know, with part of us being here, we can have a friendly rivalry. Friendly until you get the results, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> How is your team? Now, we, we saw you, of course, we saw you in the first couple weeks of the season, which, of course, is non-district. You played a little volleyball since then. How is your team now compared to 
early in the season? I, I think we, we've had our ups and downs in the matter of um, some people being injured and some people being sick, you know, but we have worked around it very well. I, I didn't feel like our team really skipped a beat when we went back out on the court, even though some of our starters may have been out. You know, we have a pretty deep squad of 14, so, you know, I, I do feel confident in my bench that's there. So I, I feel like we're still getting stronger. Depending on what city, regional, state poll you look at, you're one, two, somewhere up there. At this point, have you gotten used to it? And, and does it mean anything to the girls? Do they even look at that stuff? Actually, the girls didn't know. I think at a pep rally or something, once we were ranked number one and somebody announced that and they were in shock. Because <laughs> they, they don't ever look at it, and I don't tell them because, you know, the polls, you can get caught up in that and be worried about who got ranked over you and such. I, I think we always want to be ranked because, you know, it's our tradition to be the, one of the strongest programs. But as far as where we, we're ranked, it doesn't matter until the end. That's the ranking. You know, we want to be the best at the very end of the season. Um, knowing that they are pretty much playing for their playoff lives tonight, what do you tell your girls? Do you tell them anything different? Do you just tell them to go out and play their style, or, or what do you tell them? Well, I mean, we watched film, and the first time we played them at home, um, you know, we had a great game, and they did not. So it would be easy to watch the film and be confident and be relaxed about the game, but we know that everyone wants to play their best when they play us because mm -hmm. everybody loves to beat us. And, uh, you know, playing here on their court will be a total different atmosphere. You know, in the middle part of the game is so much more than just your skill, and they can get you out of your game easily. So I, I think that's the biggest thing, that we just try to maintain our focus on our game and not worry about the surrounding. Wild card factor that powers Woodlands over the Oak Ridge tonight? Um, you know, time after time, after interviews after each game the first thing that I go to is that we are aggressive servers we serve bullets so we take teams out of their offense and you know it's something that I, I feel really confident in if our hitters aren't on our defense isn't playing as well we're usually gonna gain points off of our serves all right well best of luck tonight thank you all right be right back after this Bite Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vipe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vipe, B Y P E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vipe magazine today. Get in the game with Vipe Media. This is the K Max Sports Network. Welcome back live here at Oak Ridge High School. Chuck Licata, Joe Lynn, Mr. Todd James running the up top camera to give you the best angle. See the big cat. Giving you the best of everything as we wouldn't do the broadcast without her. And Miss Rosie making sure that the best broadcast possible is on. And so Joey heard the two coaches, uh, you know, talked about that little sisterhood rivalry, if we will. Once the whistle blows, they're going to be going at it. Um, give me your thoughts. I, I asked both coaches, you know, because we saw, I saw, I saw Woodlands in all three non uh, non district tournaments, and then I saw Oak Ridge in two of their three. And I asked them, I said, what's the difference between between the team that then and the team now? So my question to you is, as someone who is an authority on volleyball, how much do girls come together and grow as a team over the course of what's it been, six weeks? Yeah, it seems like, uh, you got me in there? It seems like it's been a long time since uh, they just started, but it really hasn't been that long. But yeah, they're gonna. There's gonna be improvement, and they've seen each other twice now. And this, this is the important one. This is the second round of district play. Everyone knows what the other team's gonna kind of do. It's gonna really come down to who executes the most. And I think it's gonna be really important in this first set. You know, Oak Ridge has got to have a good start because you know technically they're the underdog, and Woodlands is undefeated. You know, like like you said in the interview, you know Oak Ridge is fighting to up their playoff position. Um, so, oh, here we go, warm-up ball coming our way. Um, <laughs> Danger zone. I think it, what really matters is, uh, like, like I said, this first set, who comes out. Well, since both coaches, you know them well, they both coach the TAV, put us in the uh, huddle with, first of all, Coach Crowley. What's she going to tell her girls? 
she just wants them to really get after it uh, defensively. They need to have, um, they need to be in system as much as they can in serve receive so they can set their hitters. Their, their hitters are strong, but their I think their defense is really uh, what sets them apart. Um, so I think she's going to really focus on making sure they get a good first contact, and especially they got to serve tough to minimize the quick attacks from the Woodlands. And if you're Coach Wade, what's she telling her girls? It don't let the emotions of this rivalry match get, you know, leave the emotion out of it. Just play volleyball. Now, I, I mentioned, you know, again, being an Austin kid, but or being an Austinite, if you will, but again, knowing a little bit about volleyball and having called many state matches, to me, this is the one of the bigger, if not the biggest, Houston volleyball rivalry. Where does this rank as far as you guys are concerned, as far as just straight up team against team in the Houston area? I mean, you know, it used to be back about five, six years ago, Woodlands, Woodlands has always been steady. Oak Ridge was down a little bit, you know, but recently Oak Ridge with Carly Graham now at Rice, you know, they've set the standard. They've raised the bar with their level of players and just the intensity. And I think it is one of the best robberies in Houston, if not the state. I have to ask you as far as, you know, comparative to Austin, once we get going here, what do you think about the uh, atmosphere and environment? Uh, it's awesome. It is totally awesome. I mean, that, that atmosphere just for the JV was amazing. Soon, let's take it out to the PA announcement and catch the introductions here. Let's give a little love to the 7th and 8th grade volleyball team from Iron Junior High. Great volleyball Would everyone please rise and remove your hats from the national anthem being sung tonight by Rebecca Meese. Summer Jackson. 
Highlander for coach by Terry Wade and assisted by Stormy Champion, Julie Pelosi, Randy Rasco, and Lauren Curry. And now, introducing your Oakridge Lady Warrior, number one, senior Nina Hawk. Number two, senior Mackenzie Hart. Number three, junior Abby Fowler. Number four, senior Ashlyn Kintuli. Number five, senior Brianna Rose. Number six, junior Kayla Serrett. Number seven, senior Natalie Martin. Number eight, senior Chloe Fuller. Number nine, sophomore Alex Singleton. Number 11, junior Savannah Meyer. Number 15, sophomore Piper Boyson. Number 16, sophomore Maddie Hall. Number 18, junior Katie Mullen. The War Eagles are coached by Rachel Crowley and assisted by Reagan Sheldon, Jason Clare, and Marie Lomax with varsity manager Jessica Taylor. Let's get ready to play some volleyball! All right, so there you have the lineups, and Joe, folks watching the video, you could tell that these two teams are really pumped up for each other. They really are, and it's junior high night, too, for Irons Junior High, so they're here supporting their War Eagles, so uh, they'll be loud, and we'll see if that affects the Woodlands or if they just, you know, go about their business and just keep playing volleyball. So your thought on the War Eagles side, try to get out to a, an early lead, and on the Woodlands side, don't get caught up in all the hype. Just play normally as you do what you do and try to make as few mistakes as possible. Absolutely. It, you know, both sides are dealing with a couple minor injuries, so they're trying to, you know, right. get back to health and, you know, stay strong in this second half of district play. Out on the court, Oak Ridge is going to go right to left across your screen. The Woodlands Highlander is going to go left to right across your screen. We are a couple rows up from the floor, just exactly right in the middle of everything. As we get ready for set number one, of course, they play the best three of five. And so we'll – usually I ask somebody to make a prediction. On this one, no, we're not going to make a prediction. We're just going <laughs> to go with what goes in front of us, checking in for Oak Ridge on the, on the right side, Ashlyn Chinchulli uh, – or Chinchulli, rather, the libero, the senior libero for Oak Ridge. Is getting ready to serve Mackenzie Arndt – I'm sorry, Allie Griffith. And serve, and we are underway. Attack coming le left side and hitting error by Katie Mullen. And it's 1-0 Woodlands. Set was a little low. Katie just got to keep that ball in right there. Griffith the serve again. Pass up front. Set by Boydston. Tip shot. Dug out nicely. Quick set in the middle. Block in front. A little 5-10. Rihanna Rhodes. Black combo there. And that's a huge stuff on Amanda if I any. Wow. So we are tied at one. Back to serve for Oak Ridge. McKenzie Arndt, the senior setter. One of four setters, Coach Crowley says, can set the ball. Attack coming left side. Mayberry and Mayberry hammers it home. You're going to see a lot of Dylan Mayberry tonight. And uh, Chinchuli's just got to get a little bit to the left of that blocker. Uh, to get uh, in place for that swing. Back to serve for Woodlands. Amanda Ifiani to the back row. Pass up front. Set coming from Art and then the hammer home. Brianna Rhodes. Rhodes had a great warm up. She got the block right there and then scoring right away with a quick attack out of the middle. Rhodes her first kill to go with a block assist. Tied at two. Service to the back row. Mayberry. And Mayberry. Hammers home her second kill. Two for two on attempts. You got to know where she's at. Right? Yeah, absolutely. 
Checking in Emma Hunt, number 14, in the front row as Clara Brower goes back to serve for the Woodlands. Set number one. Service to the back row. Handled by Arndt. And free ball sent over to Bauer sets it. Mayberry. Nice take in the back row there by Oak Ridge. Attack left side and finding inside the back line at Natalie Martin. Natalie Martin with a great line shot to the deep corner. That's the real estate shot. Absolutely. Location, location, location. <laughs> and it'll be Brianna Rhodes back to serve the senior. Nice dig in the back row saved by Woodlands. Mayberry goes cross court and hammers home her third kill. And it is Woodlands up four to three. The thing about Mayberry is she can hit almost any shot. She got that inside the blocker again. No defender was there. Third kill of the match. Service by Mayberry. Short, and it's going to be an ace. Wow. It's LSU on LSU. <laughs> Natalie Martin's going to play beach, but Dylan will play on the indoor court. They'll be teammates in a couple years. Yeah, between sets, we'll talk about how beach has really become a, a big thing in the volleyball world. Meantime, Natalie Martin with the attack and the block up front. Amelia Oppenheimer with the big block for the point. And Woodlands now out to a 6-3 lead. And Oppenheimer's not normally a middle. Normally she's a pin hitter. She's filling in tonight and uh, making an immediate impact. That's funny. Wait, Coach Wade told me she had the injury. She says, I've got one middle, and that's <laughs> it. So I've got to sub in. And obviously Oppenheimer doing very well on that one. Meantime, a hitting error by Woodlands gives Oak Ridge the point. Now 6-4. to four. Back to serve for the War, Eager, War Eagles. rather Piper Boydston, the sophomore. And serves it out. Ouch. The old rally killer. Absolutely. You can't have that at that point. You really can't give the free points to the Woodlands. They're just going to take advantage of it. you got to play clean volleyball if you're the War Eagles. That's like sending over a uh, free ball. Meantime, one of the best liberos I've seen this year, Georgia Murphy, back to serve for the Woodlands. Passed up front. Set by Boydston, and it's going to be a double. You'll see tonight, Oak Ridge is going to run a 6-2. Mackenzie Arendt, she's in the front row hitting right now, and Boydston's in there as the second setter. I'll ask Joe some volleyball rules. For those tuning in and not up on the volleyball rules, we'll talk about the throughout the match, too, as service over. Boydston, set, attack right side. Wow. Savannah Meyer with the unconventional kill, if you will. More of a line drive than something that went up and down. She's a little bit in front of it, but found uh, the deep corner and right back. It looks like a major hammer in the scorebook, so that's all that matters. Absolutely. Natalie Martin, the senior, back to serve. Pass up front. Set by Bauer. Tip shot. Attack right side and through the block. Is that Natalie Martin there? I believe McKenzie it was. Mackenzie Aaron. Uh, Mackenzie Aaron. Sorry about that. Now eight to six, little two point run here for the War Eagles as the serve goes down the left sideline. Handled by Hutton, sent back over. Chincholi with the set. Quick defense, quick tip, and the hit in the middle. Ipiani will get the kill on that one as the play at the net. By Ifani getting blocked earlier, so she, she wanted to make sure she got that point over that time. Bailey Weidemeyer with the serve. Attack on the slide, and Arndt with the kill. That's her second. And she's one of the best setters on this team too, correct? She really is, and they, you know, uh, Coach Crowley's experiment with a 5-1 where Arendt sets all the way around, and then she'll go to a 6-2 because Arendt hit last year with Carly Graham setting last year. Chinchilli with the serve. Bauer, tip shot, nice dig. Aaron again, nice dig in the back row there by Weidemeyer. Roll shot, dug out, Chinchilli. Attack left side to the back row. Pass up front by Murphy. And then the hammer home in the front by Courtney Heiser, her first kill. Makes it out 10 to seven. The last two attempts from Oak Ridge have gone to that deep corner and Murphy's adjusted and picked that ball up both times. Allie Griffith, the serve, 10-7, set number one. Welcome to 
the KMAX Sports Bite Media Network. Chuck Licata, along with Joe Lins, Suna Binkin, our producer. Todd James on the camera. Attack right side, and the kill there off the blocking air makes it 10 to 8. Three kills immediately for Mackenzie Aaron. Now she's back there setting as Boydson comes out, and Maddie Hall steps in for Oak Ridge. That's Aaron spelled A R E N T, Aaron, and then an error on the serve. Second service error for Oak Ridge, none for Woodlands just yet. And if you look at it, that's two service errors. It's a three point game. Absolutely. Like I said, you can't give away those three points, and if you got three points. Yep. How many times have we seen this? Merry Christmas back at you. Yep. A little service error. Checking in. The back line will be Chloe Fuller, the senior. I would love to know what's going through Rachel Crowley's mind just being on the opposite side of Woodlands after coaching there. It's amazing. Mayberry uses the tape for the kill as if Dylan Mayberry needs any help, right? Absolutely. I mean, Crowley knows all these athletes too, so, I mean, there there is an advantage, but you also know what they can do when you got an athlete like Dylan Mayberry. You just got to try to set up your defense and your block to at least slow her down a little bit. 12-9 to nine the score. Attack coming right side. Martin dials in from long distance. Makes it a two-point set at 12-10 to 10 now. Woodland's up top. A little bit back and forth right now, Joe. Yeah, this is kind of the chess match between Claire Brower, the setter on for the Woodlands, and Aaron and Boydston on uh, Oak Ridge. Who are you going to set? And a lot of balls are going to go to Martin and then uh, Dylan Mayberry for the Woodlands. And the hit by Oak Ridges turns into a point. I'm trying to see who that was. Oh, that was Madison Hall, the call-up. She gets the kill. Makes it a one-point set at 12-11. Service by Rhodes. Brower's going to be called for a double. Explain the double to folks who may not know volleyball. So normally that comes from your setter or if anybody else mishandles the ball. you you got to have a clean contact, even contact. And when you see the, the referee call a double, that means it's uh, uneven contact. And you can tell the ball just goes flat. Just looks ugly. And everybody in the gym goes, <laughs> Ugh. Yep. Meantime, service error, third for Oak Ridge. Puts Woodlands in front. And service over by Murph Mayberry. Attack coming Martin right side. Nice dig by Murphy in the back row. Brower sets it up left side. Nice dig there. Martin dug out by Mayberry. And that one off the basketball hoops and over the free ball to Oak Ridge. A little game of Plinko up top. Oh, there. and the dump shot. By Aaron. That is kill number four, but a big point there as it ties it at 13. Oh, it's all right. You can sit down. I was just kind of hand motion. No, we're in a tough spot. We're right behind the bench, and they like to stand up and uh, celebrate in this atmosphere. Piper Boydston, the sophomore, back to serve. Set tied at 13 all. Little 9 to 6 run since an 8 4 lead, and then. Here's what we talked about in the open. Both sides kind of playing with, with the motions, letting the jitters, the rivalry kind of get to them. A lot of missed serves on both sides. That is four service errors for the War Eagles, one on the Woodland side, but more importantly, it gives Woodlands a 14-13 lead as Murphy sends it over. Set by Boydston. Back row return. Nice dig. Murphy, back row return by Mayberry off the tape. Nice dig there by Boydston. Martin with the cross-court kill. Out of the hands of Mayberry. And Mayberry is one of the better defenders in her height, but just didn't have a chance on that hit by Martin. Yeah, she's good all the way around. Martin just, you know, sliced it a little bit more. It, pe it pegged right off her platform. Tied at 14. Boy, if this is a sign of things to come, we're going to be here for a while. Brower, quick set in the middle. And the kill there by Ifiani. Her second kill by our count. Yep. I don't think Oak Ridge has had the lead just yet. They've been close. They've tied it a couple times. Tied it up. They haven't had the lead. That's right. Back to serve. Bailey Weidemeyer. Attack on the slide. And Arnett goes cross court. 
Aaron. 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 Strike court. Five. Kill number five. Yeah, five kills. Leads everybody. The libero. Ashlyn Chinchulli. C I A N C I U L L I. The senior. Sends it on the line. Hits the tape. Dug out by Murphy. Dump shot. Dug out by Chinchulli. Aaron sends it to the back row. Murphy the pass up front. Brower sets it. The attack. Nice dig in the back row by Martin. Tip shot. Past the front line. Wow. Great adjustment and great call by Katie Mullen. On you got to move it around. And Katie Mullen did a great job. Right over the top of the block. The defender didn't react. Very well placed. You see two tall girls jump up. Put it right behind them. Brower. Attack on the slide right side. And net violation. And Oakridge called for the net violation. Right after they got their first lead, we're tied again. Yep. And we've already s rotated three times for Allie Griffith, who started this, the match by serving. It's her third time to serve. Aaron. Nice dig there. Late swing dug out by Chinchilli. Boydston. Attack left side by Mullen. Attack on the hut, Mayberry. Kept alive, tip shot. Oak Ridge. And that one off the net, Katie Mullen. By the way, our crowd mic is taped to the pole on the near side. That's why when that ball hits the net, you kind of hear a little reverb in the crowd mic. It's literally taped right on that pole. This is now 17-16 off the hitting air. Chuck's the best sound guy in the biz. That's right, baby. gentlemen. And did she hit it in? Yeah, Katie Mullen yep. with another line kill. Wow. Another real estate kill. Tied at 17. Mackenzie Arendt to serve. Wow. And Brower did, a, did such a great job. It was a bad pass, more of a line drive pass to her. She did the only thing she could is, is put it over. And ended up going for the for the point. Yeah, she uh, went up aggressive, used the hands. It was a very smart play on that uh, tight ball. Yeah, I think setters have great stories about bad passes that they've turned, done some pretty good things on. You know, every time it's setters are always the ones that win those tight balls. Oh, kept the great line. dig, great job by the War Eagles, and that's going to be a double. What well, looked like a kill by Mayberry, I believe it was Aaron that came up with a huge dig. They got the ball over, and the unforced error, the double hit by Woodlands, ties it at 18. That's what you're going to see all night, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of good defense, and we've seen a lot of those, too. Five service errors for the War Eagles. Gives Woodlands the lead again at 19-18 as Brower goes back to serve. Line drive to the back row. Pass up front and. <laughs> yep, net violation. Mayberry got the Christmas kip, but on the swing down, hit the net. That's almost the same ball that Brower got that she was able to use off the hands. That time, Dylan was trying to knock it down about three feet and hit the net. Service error number six for the War Eagles. And they're only down one. Yep, yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? 20-19 as Mayberry goes back to serve for the Highlanders. Happy to have you here on the KMAX Sports Bite Media Network as Aaron sets it on the slide. Attack right side. Dug out. Hit by Heiser. Kept alive. Martin. Oh! What a save! Georgia Murphy. Georgia Murphy is unbelievable. Meantime, Chincholi with the save. Martin with the swing right side. And that one just a little past the end line. It's a good swing, too. Just long. And here's a critical point here, Joe. It's now 21-19. When they got Mayberry in the back row, so Oakridge has got to make a run here. Martin with the swing goes out. And you could tell by the set that she just didn't have good range on that one. It's almost like the, the serve was up here and her hand kind of came underneath and hit it. Yeah, timing was a little off. She didn't quite finish her swing and just went long. So we've gone back and forth, Joe. And now it's a four-point run 
by Woodlands to take a, a crucial 22-19 lead. Put us in the uh, huddle with Coach Crowley and the Ward Eagles. Well, I think she's telling them you got to get your serve in because we've given them way too many unforced errors. And, I mean, look at the difference. Only three points, and you got at least six missed serves. How many, you know, unforced hitting errors? Yep. You know, so they're, they're playing extremely well. You just got to minimize those errors. Yep. Six service errors for the War Eagles, just one for the Woodlands. Out of the timeout, we say hello. Welcome to the KMAX Sports Vibe Media Nation. If you'd like to send an email, let us know where you're watching from. Chuck, C-H-U-C-K, at K-M-A-C, sports.com. And mishandle on the serve there. How huge is it to score a point out of your opponent's timeout? Especially when you call the timeout, that, that just uh, gets your blood boiling as a coach because you just talk to them, hey, you got to regroup, refocus. you got to be able to stick that service seat pass. That's a second ace for the Woodlands. Mayberry serves it again. Kept alive. Nice hit off the tape. Mayberry with the dive and the dig. Attack blocked in front. 11-16 block combo. Savannah Meyer and Madison Hall. And that was huge. They needed, obviously with the score the way it is, but they needed to stop that momentum. Second block assist for Madison Hall, the sophomore who was called up last week to join the varsity and give him an outside hitter. And playing some crucial uh, crucial moments here in this match. Attack on the slide, hit right side, nice dig. Chincholi sends it right side to Aaron. And Aaron with their sixth kill that leads everybody. And Wordland's lead is cut to two at 23-21. And you're right, she is leading everybody, and she's one of the smaller hitter yeah, setters right. out there. Yep. Piper Boydston, the sophomore, to serve again. Her team trailing by two. Tries to go cross court and serves it out. Seven service errors, and it's set point for the Woodlands as Georgia Murphy back to serve. And now it's just in your head, and that's the tough part is once you miss one, it, it can kind of snowball from there. You've War Eagles need three straight points. Quick set, hit block, and a line violation. One of the players stepped out on the line, and unforced error makes it 25-21. Woodlands wins the first set, and I guess it's kind of uh, what sort of looking for, photogenic, whatever. It's, it's whatever it is, an unforced error wins that set for Woodlands. Oakwoods, like you said, played really well, but the seven service errors and a few unforced errors did them in. Yeah, so, I mean, if if, if we're talking like what Coach Crowley's saying, it, you can flip it and you can stay positive because, hey, we did play well, but, you know, we minimize those unforced errors. We're right there in it. We win the set, you know. So you're, you're frustrated, but you got to find the positives in there. So if you're Woodlands, you played really well. You, you know, you, you match them toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They actually trailed at one point. I think it was 16-15 when Oak Ridge took their first lead, but you kept up with them, and then you went on that 3-0 run, or 4-0 run to make it 22-19, and you held off at that point. Uh, put us in the put us in the huddle with Coach Wade at this point. Yeah, if Woodlands just settles down their emotions, I mean, they, and they get on a run and start rolling, it, you got to be, be better watch out. Uh, but they're going to keep feeding the ball to Dylan Mayberry. they got to move it around a little bit more. Amanda Ifiani had some good kills, but they got to get some more production out of their uh, right side. And then Courtney Heiser, who's also coming back from an injury with her hand, she got used a little bit on the block from Aaron, um, Aaron hitting off her hand. Um, so you're just kind of making small adjustments. Again, the district rec record's coming in. Woodland's at 8-0, no. Klein at 7-1, Oak Ridge at Klein, Oak, or Klein Collins, rather, and College Park all at 5-3. Klein Oak behind them, two games at three and five. Klein Kane at two and six. Conroe at one and seven. And then Klein Forest at 0 oh and eight. Uh, College Park plays at Woodlands on Friday, and then Oak Ridge will be at uh, Klein Collins. So the top four match up with, with each other. It's coming a crucial, Friday. crucial time at district play, absolutely. Like we said earlier, you, you can't, you know, you can't let any match drop. You know, you got to keep your focus all the way through because this is one of the toughest districts. I want to thank Mr. Todd James, who does uh, broadcasting of Conroe ISD Volleyball on through the Vite uh, Nation on Facebook. And, of course, I want to thank Suna Venkat, tech director, and one of the more amazing 
27-year-olds you're ever going to want to meet. I used to, I used to say my line was she's the most amazing 26-year-old. Then she reminded me, what, a month ago or so, oh, I'm 27 now. So I was like, okay, well, you're still pretty amazing. Still amazing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> say hello to Rosie back at the KMAC studios who is monitoring the broadcast, make sure that we are on looking and sounding as good as we can. As the two teams switch side, Woodland's going to go right to left. Oak Ridge going to go left to right. And again, for folks who may just be joining in now, what does this uh, rivalry mean to each team? This is huge. I mean, you know, a lot of these kids, they play on the same club teams in the off season. They, some of them have been at the other schools. They compete, you know, they're friends off the court or they're rivals, you know. So both schools get after it in all sports uh, as we're talking to the coaches, you know. So this is, this is a big deal. Meantime, we are underway in the dump shot. Like a slam Bauer. Woo! Slam a jamma. Looked like she was in the dunk contest there. Well, it's a one nothing Woodlands. She uh, just recently committed to University of Georgia, and that's oh, what they wow. want to see is that uh, athleticism and uh, you know get after itness. That's not really a word, but <laughs> <laughs> meantime, Amanda Ippiani with the serve. Back row returned by Martin, and that one finds the tile in the back row. Martin now with four kills, two behind. Aaron at six, and Oak Ridge on the board tied at one. How important now is it for Oak Ridge to not only just stay even, but grab a lead here in the second set? Oh, it's huge. They just got to make their serve, serve tough. And that was probably going out, but uh, Griffith played that one. Attack right side. That one dug out, and that will be out. Kill up front for Oppenheimer. And it's 2-1 now. Woodlands with the lead. Oppenheimer filling in at the middle spot. Clara Brower back to serve. Again, Woodland's going to right to left. Oak Ridge going left to right. Aaron, oh, and that's going to be a double. Another unforced error. And that comes down, that, it really uh, was uh, set up by the pass. The, the serve receive pass was off a little bit, so Aaron didn't get her feet there, and then that caused the double. Service. Aaron did a great job just to get that one up in the air. Nice dig by Murphy. Attack right side. Nice dig in the back row. Aaron sends it to the back row. Murphy falling on backwards. I'm not sure if she misjudged that or maybe she slipped on something, but she ended up falling as she was trying to make the dig. Yeah, I think it was a well-placed a well placed shot from Aaron, but uh, you know, just misread by Murphy, which doesn't happen very often. By the way, Chuck, C-H-U-C-K, at K-M-A-C, sports.com. If you want to send us an email, let us know where you're watching from as Oak Ridge goes on offense. Wow. Nice job of adjustment by Martin on that bad set. A little mistiming there, but free ball sent over. And both sides just off a little bit. Yep. And then saved by Savannah Meyer, who hammers it home for Oak Ridge. Meyer just plays with so much passion. It's, it's, it, Oak Ridge has got to feed off of that right now. Back to serve, checking in is Nina Hoff, the senior. Attack coming right side, Mayberry. And Mayberry will get the kill. Nice attempt there on the dig by Martin. But Mayberry now with five kills. Oak Ridge switching up their lineup just a little bit, putting in Abby Fowler and using Nina Hoff to serve. Coach Carly probably uh, changing it up just to see who else can get a serve in. Mayberry with the serve. Aaron sends it on the hut. Attack by Martin. Nice dig by Hutton. And then an unforced error. Another double. And it's 4-4. Four to four. Just so you know, we're talking about the double, and we had Joe explain it. It's mostly an objective kind of call, so you might get into some matches where you see referees call it a little bit more than others. Subjective, yeah. It's, uh, it's their opinion. You, you, you can't really argue it either because it's, it's their judgment. I mean, some of it's kind of obvious, but, you know, in my opinion, were some other ones maybe doubles? You know, you never know. It's it's an art, you know, and it's there's a human element in with the referees and their judgment on making those calls. Meantime, Woodlands takes a 5-4 lead on the kill by Oppenheimer. Service over. Aaron sends it on the hut. A little joust up front, and that one won by Emma Hutton. Hutton with her first point. And it's 6-4 Woodlands as Murphy goes back to serve. And that set was just too tight, and Oak Ridge hitters couldn't do anything with it. 
Woodlands won the first set 25-21, so you don't want to say a must win for the War Eagles, but really need this victory as the attack coming left side by Heiser. And Arndt is blocked, or Aaron rather, is blocked up front by Ifiani. Yeah, that's, that's a low set. Really tough to hit for Aaron. Seven to four. Am I sensing right? Am I sensing a uh, little momentum getting solidified on the Woodland side? You could say that. I mean, uh, the first set was the exact same score, and Oak Ridge made a run after this, so we'll see how they recover. Aaron with the swing dug out by Murphy. Quick set in the middle. Ifiani, nice dig in a, by Chinchilli. Nice hit in the line, but dug out by Mayberry. Swing by Heiser. Chinchilli sets it left side for Aaron. Aaron! And that's smart, moving the ball around, changing up her shot, little roll shot right in front of Hutton. Fells, balls for the kill. Katie Mullen checks in for the War Eagles as Natalie Martin back to serve. Her team trailing by two and set two, seven to five. Thanks to Suna Benkat and Mr. Todd James on the production side as that quick set turns into a kill. Blocking error off the hit of Ipiani. And Meyer was in the right spot, just didn't have her hands quite far enough over the net, and if any, hits off of her hands for the kill. Daly Whitey Meyer with the serve. Problem on the server, see? Free ball sent over by Martin. Ifiani. Brower sets it. Attacked by Heiser, and that will go out. Same thing off the hands of Meyer. She's in the right spot. And she's coming off of uh, ACL surgery last year, less than a year removed from injury for her for, so for her to be playing is a is a huge deal meantime nice dig by mayberry off the hit from meyer i got back row back row returned by martin if keeps it alive off the block power with a little emphasis and a little emotion just a little pumped up there <laughs> when your setter gets a kill like that everybody's fired up could you tell <laughs> 10 to 5 and service error. First service error of this set. Second for Woodlands. That's the thing, too. At this point, uh, Oak Ridge had three service errors. They have none, but trailed by four. Chinchilli with the serve. Meyer the, or Murphy the pass up front. And then Heiser with the kill. Changing it up with a high ball in the middle. Heiser comes and gets the kill. Makes it 11-6. Coming in to serve for the Woodlands, Allie Griffith. And Heiser's just back off of that thumb, uh, broken thumb injury, so she's not playing in the back row. Griffith's back there doing a good job serving and playing defense in her in her absence. Set by Boydston, roll shot, dug out nicely by Brower. Swing is blocked. Oh my goodness. Get that out of my neighborhood, says Brianna Rhodes. Brianna Rhodes is fired up. She's had a good presence at the net. And that, I think that's the first time Mayberry's been blocked. So Certainly is. Mayberry has five kills, but that one a little in your face is Aaron off the tape and gets the roll. We'd always say, who set the net up? And obviously Oak Ridge did. <laughs> the luck of the tape right there. Well, they had to have one. Aaron with another serve. Her team trailing by three now. First ace for the War Eagles. Pass up front. Bauer on the set. And then into the net. Unforced air there by Ifiani. And it's now a two-point set, 11-9. I'd watch a setter dump or a, a set to Mayberry right here. They need uh, something to kill this momentum. Oh! Rotation violation. And that's... That, to me, I've said over the years calling ball the ball, that's even worse than a service error. Because of the Yeah, momentum. you got to know where you're at, especially in this time. Wow, that's a big point there. It's now 11-10. Ward Eagles in front of their home crowd, a chance to tie it up here in set two. Nice serve down the line. Dug out by Griffith. Mayberry with the swing, and that's off the tape. Oh, and they say it was touched by Oak Ridge, we continue play. Aaron with the shot on the right side. Woodland's got lucky on that. Brower into the crowd. Free ball sent over to the War Eagles. Aaron set in the middle. 
Touch shot, kept alive. Mayberry with the swing. Nice block again. Rhodes with the touch. Brower. Cincioli sets it. And blocked by Ithiani. There's too much size between Ithiani and Mayberry on the inside set to Hall. Ithiani with her second block. Well, that first hit by Woodlands, I actually thought didn't go over, but the up referee said it touched somebody from the War Eagles. It's now 12 to 10, the serve over. Aaron. First action from Wen Ho on the serve. And Aaron to Rhodes for the kill. Rhodes, her second kill, keeps it a one point set at 12 11. As Abby Fowler, you mentioned she's coming in. Both coaches going to a new defensive specialist to serve for their middles or other players to get a different look. That's why he's the best color man in the world, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Pass up front. Brower sets it, and the ball goes over the net, but the joust won by Mayberry. It looked like someone was in the net, but just a good play by That's Mayberry. What I, thought. I was actually waiting for the whistle and then the point to whoever was in the net, but the joust is clean. Mayberry gets the point. Back to a two-point lead for the Woodlands at 13-11 as the serve goes over and out. The crowd a little bit a factor there. Second service error for Woodlands here in set two. None for Oak Ridge here as they trail it by one. And that's that's the difference between both sets. You look at first set, Oak Ridge with six service errors. And now Woodlands has a couple in the second set. And Oak Ridge is climbing back. Swing right side. Good job by the front line of Oak Ridge keeping it alive. Set by Hop and then hammered home. Woo! Miss Martin sends a little message as she picks up her fifth kill. Yeah, and they're taking advantage of the right side, and Oppenheimer not being a normal middle. Aaron sends that ball to Martin, and she finds, finds a way to put it down. Service by Wen Ho. That got by Murphy. Set on the slide, and Mayberry through the front line. There are times when players of Mayberry's calendar go up on the swing, and you know there's nothing going to stop it. Yeah, she got up. She was putting it down no matter who was in front of her. Even if Joe Lynn was in front of her, it was going down. <laughs> Service over, 14-13 Woodlands. Quick set, and that one hammered home by the sophomore, Madison Hall. You can see Heiser only went up with one hand because she's got that brace on the left. So it's obviously affecting her a little bit, and Oak Ridge took advantage of it. Piper Boydston, another sophomore, back to serve for the War Eagles. Tied at 14 in set two. Nice serve, Mayberry with the overpass. Dug out. Swing right side, and Courtney Heiser, the aforementioned, finds the real estate in the back row for the kill. May have taken advantage of me on defense, but not on offense. Saw so Matt Malatesta say hello to Mr. Bite. He'll be out for our broadcast. KMX Sports, Bite Media can do some football broadcasts this Thursday. We'll tell you about it in a minute. As Georgia Murphy serves with her team up by one in set two. Pass up front. Aaron, roll shot falls in. There's that beach connection. Aaron and Martin, they're uh, veteran beach players, and that's a, just a nice, easy roll shot over the top, finds the open court. And we are tied at 15. And you know it's a good match, Joe. When you're tied at 15, neither coaches use the timeout. Love it. Absolutely. Martin to the back row. Maybe already the pass up front. Brower sets it on the hut. Swing by Heiser. Nice dig in the back row by Martin. Aaron dug out by Mayberry. Murphy. Oh. And Mayberry and Heiser had issues, kind of like a center fielder, left fielder, saying, you got it or I got it. And that's got to be the back row because it's kind of in between. Further back, Mayberry's got to take that ball and send it over. Natalie Martin. Mayberry pass up front. Brower, quick set. With the on with the hit. Nice dig in the back row. Oh, and then problem on the return. A perfect pass from Mayberry. If any, goes over the top of the block, and Oak Ridge couldn't handle the swing. Tied at 16. Service by Weidemeyer. Attack on the hut. Nice dig by Weidemeyer. Swing right side, Heiser off the tape, and it goes in. Yeah, the Woodlands have been lucky with those off the tape cross-court shots. 
We'll take Heiser the Zerbez and Mayberry, Mayberry. yeah. <laughs> exactly. So Bailey Weidemeyer with the serve again. Her team up by one. Joust and net violation. Oh, what do they call it? Sorry, didn't back see row it. Block, oh, so, Back row block. Back row block, okay. Boyce in the center's back row, and she played the ball, and the Woodlands blocker hit it, so that's a back row attack. Off the serve. Back row return for Martin. Dug out by Weidemeyer. Swing by Heiser. Off the front row block, kept alive. Tip shot past the front line, and that net violation, violation yeah. on the Woodlands. Point for Oak Ridge as it's now 18-17. More Eagles trail it by one. Chincholi with the serve. Hit, dug out, Chincholi sets it up left side. And back-to-back -back net wow. violations on the Woodlands. Boy, those are huge unforced error there by the Highlanders. And we are tied at 18. So maybe a little momentum and luck going on the War Eagles side. Chinchilli with the serve. Mayberry pass up front. Brower quick set in the middle. And Ifiani with and the, the kill. And the jump set from by Brower set that up. The, it freezes the blockers, and Ifiani finds the space to hit through. As Allie Griffith checks in to serve. 19-18 Woodlands. Woodlands won the first set 25-21. Service. Pass up front, Martin. And that one! Katie Mullen with the hit that nobody can control. Katie Ties Mullen. it at 19. Katie Mullen stepping alive right here for the for Oak Ridge. She's got three kills by our count. As Mackenzie Arendt, the senior, back to serve. Service to the back row. Murphy the pass up front. Set on the slide. Ipiani with a nice adjustment. But another net violation. That's three and five points. And Woodlands takes the 2019 lead. Yeah, and all against the Woodlands, too. It's getting tight on the finish. That wasn't on blocking. That was on the attack. Aaron with the serve. Brower sets it left side. And Mayberry says, okay, I need to step up for my team. And she does. Eight kills for her. Just going over the top of the block. Just superior athleticism right there. Wen Ho in to serve for the Woodlands. To the back row, Chinchilli, pass up front. Aaron, and the hammer. Brianna Rhodes, they gotta get, find a way to stay in system so they can get her the ball more. She has three kills, but her first of the second set. Back to a 21-20 lead for the for Oak Ridge. Abby Fowler back to serve the junior. Her team up by one, needing to win this set. Off the tape, dug out. The overpass kept alive. Good defense by both teams. And then again in the middle. I think you called it. Little yeah, media Rhodes, there. there you go. They, they yeah. were listening. Somebody's monitoring the broadcast. <laughs> Someone hey, checked our signal. Exactly. 22-20, War Eagles. Abby Fowler with the serve. To the back row. The tight pass. Brower, Mayberry goes cross court, dug out. Chinchilli on the overpass. Mayberry with the swing, dug out again. Martin with the swing, through the block for the kill. And that's frustrating as a hitter. Mayberry, you can see it on her face, just two big digs from Oak Ridge to slow her down, and then instant offense from Natalie Martin. Timeout taken by Coach Wade. Let's talk about TAV Houston. Where can folks find out information and find out what goes on at Houston's incredible club. So TAV Houston, we're located in Spring, Texas, right uh, right by Hardy Toll Road and uh, 99, the Grand Parkway. Uh, we have our own facility, The Edge. You can find us on online, tavhouston.com. Uh, we still have makeup trouts. We have developmental volleyball. We have beach volleyball. We have a lot of different programs just trying to take our kids to the next level. How big is Beach becoming in Texas? Oh, Beach is becoming huge. Uh, like we were talking about before the broadcast, it, there's 72 programs that have beach volleyball in college. It's the fastest growing sport in NCAA history, so we're seeing the growth in the youth levels too. Mayberry blocked in front! Brianna Rhodes is really stepping up number five. 
puts her team one point away for winning the set. She's oh coming out of her shell tonight. Woo! Exploding for the block. Meantime, Broward blocked up front and the block again, a 5-7 block combo. And Oak Ridge does what it needs to. Tied at 19, they finish on a 6-1 run and they win set number two, 25-20. And the difference is the serving. Uh, Oak Ridge just serving suffer, getting a tight pass on the net and Broward can't do anything with it and Oak Ridge blocks the ball right down to the ground. Wow. Amazing. So, Oak Ridge coming to the near side, if you will. Tied at 1-1. One, one. And uh, Chutley cut along with Mr. Joe Lynn, Todd James running camera, Cinna Venkat handling the producing duties. Thanks to Rosie back at the KMAC Studios as well. And uh, you've known Todd James for a little bit. Talk about what he does and his contributions to this community. I was thrilled when I finally got a chance to meet him. And in fact, if you if I heard you right, you just met him in person today, correct? Yeah, we've talked on the phone, we've emailed, I've been on his podcast. He just he cares about you know all sports really, and uh, you know it's really great you know getting the exposure for uh, volleyball in the community. Uh, just just a great presence for high school club sports, just youth sports in general. And real quick, we mentioned we uh, hit on uh, sand volleyball. How much does that help in the girls that play indoor high school volleyball? Oh, it's huge. I mean, you know, the normal game of beach volleyball, you only have two players on the court, so you're automatically getting more touches. So you have to be good at all facets of volleyball, and not just I'm the libero or I'm just a front row player only. No, you got to be able to pass. you got to be able to defend. you got to be able to serve. Uh, so it just increases your court court presence, your, your vision, your IQ, more touches, you're on an unstable surface, so your movement, your jumping ability, all of that's going to increase, and we've seen it just, it, the level of um, play and, like we said, the volleyball IQ of, of players today is just getting so much improved from uh, playing a lot of beach. And how much does it help the girls as far as, I mean, the athleticism and to me the versatility you know I've had high school tells high school coaches tell me they find out that their girls are going to play beach volleyball in club they love it well I, I think it's huge and, and you're seeing the high school like you said the high school coaches are excited about it because it kind of gives them a little bit of break you know they're outside in the sand having fun you know a little bit more laid back atmosphere but it's more like cross training because if you just stick to one sport all the time it's a lot of pounding on a hard surface so you get out in the sand it's a little bit easier in your joints and like we said you're getting a lot more touches and you're having to do a lot of different skills so it's only going to increase your skill and playing ability and once again the website for TAV Houston TAV Houston is www.tavhouston.com say hello to Rosie back to KMAX Studios Todd James running camera Cindy Vincat our producer I'm Chuck Lacan along with Joe Lind as we begin set number three. We're tied at one apiece. Aaron sends it the back row. Murphy the pass up front. Brower sets it for Mayberry. And it's out. Hit the antenna, I think, on the way down. So getting blocked a couple times the last set. Maybe uh, thinking about it a little too much. I mean, that's a good swing, just a little bit wide there. Another unforced error for Woodlands. And Oak Ridge with the 1-0 lead. And I think that momentum has shifted back to the side on the War Eagles as the quick set. Ifiani does a good job just to get the ball over. Attack and Rhodes. Oh, and it goes wide. <laughs> it's almost the same swing Mayberry had. Great swing just wide right there. Ran out of court space. Checking in is Wen Ho. For the Highlander, she will serve. Set three, tied at one, and that is set uh, service here number four for the Woodlands. They had two in the previous set, and now one here as the War Eagles hand the ball to Abby Fowler to serve. It's the first time Oak Ridge has had a, a lead this early in all three sets. Joust up front, kept alive by Oak Ridge. Martin with the swing off the front. Line block, Mayberry with the swing and gets it down. Just over the top of the block. Mayberry, her number of kills matches her uniform number nine as we're tied at two. Clara Brower back to serve. 
Where's Clara going? Clara just committed to the University of Georgia. Okay. Oh! And I think I just had, gave her the media jinx. <laughs> Again, like I said, serving errors that can can get in your head a little bit. And uh, right before her, Wen Ho served in the net, and she did the same thing right after that. So, and she had an earlier miss. So you're kind of think about it the next time you step back there to get back to serve. Meantime, attack on the slide. Mayberry blocked in front. Savannah Meyer and Natalie Martin, the 11-7 block combo. Oof. And with their other middle Zorba out. It gets a little predictable. They want to set the ball to Mayberry, and Oak Ridge is just setting their uh, block right up on her. Quick set in the middle, and the kill off the swing of Meyer. There you see that passion from Meyer dropping to her knees. She just loves the game of volleyball and getting the kill right there. Warren goes out to their biggest lean at 5-2, to two, and then the service error. Oh, that is 9 now for Oak Ridge on the night. I think that's their first since the first set. They played cl pretty clean that second set where they won. Yep, they didn't have any, but they've got two here. Oh, little miscommunication in the back row. Fowler and Martin. That'll be an ace for Mayberry, her second. Third overall for the Highlanders, says it's now five to four. And that hard, deep float serve. It's like a knuckleball in baseball, just floating in there and dropping. And then Mayberry serves up service error number five for the Highlanders. Piper Boydston, the sophomore, back to serve. What a JV match that was going on earlier and, and today. The crowd is like the same size and just the energy from their varsity teams cheering them on. As Mayberry with the hitting error makes it 7-4. Woodlands won that third set in the JV, 25-20, but... You'd swear it was a playoff match with the way the crowd was into it and the girls were playing. Well, that rivalry, rivalry excuse me, bleeds over to all the JV, ninth grade matches, all of it. Oh, and Piper Boydston went for the cross-court serve and serves up the 10th air for the War Eagles on the night. Makes it 7-5 to five as Georgia Murphy back to serve. As a coach, you can take that air as long as you made the first serve before it, but it, it still uh, gets you frustrated for sure. Middle hit, nice dig in the back row by Brower. Kept alive, Mayberry with the back row return. Dug out nicely. Oh, adjustment on the hit. Overpass. And this time, Orleans. Boy, that is Center like Orleans violation. fifth net violation in like the last 19 points or something. Well, and the reason why that happened is the set was tied over the net and they just overplayed it with a little too aggressive. Natalie Martin back to serve for the War Eagles. They lead it eight to five in set three. We're tied in sets at one apiece. Nice serve and the ace. Mayberry couldn't handle the floater that went cross court for Mayberry. You can see the coaches on both sides, they're trying to pick on their best players. They're serving at Mayberry, the Oak Ridges, and the Woodlands is trying to serve at Natalie Martin. So a little chess game back and forth. And if you could see it, Martin has a splint on her middle finger on her left hand. Kept alive here, Mayberry back row return dug out by Martin. <laughs> like you said, the ability to make that defensive play is even tougher considering she's, you know, she had a broken finger from Beach this summer and playing with that splint. Meantime, hitting air by Oak Ridge gives Woodlands a point. Highlanders back within three as number three. Bailey Weidemeyer goes back to serve. That is right, right, Weidemeyer? You got it. Okay. Aaron. Nice dig, nice dig by Murphy. Mayberry, back row return, roll shot. Nice dig there. Even better save. Oh, and then Martin into the net. What a great save off the Boyston dig by Aaron. But then Martin hit it into the net. Yeah, she avoided the ref stand there. Pretty uh, impressive. The quick there. set, and that'll be a kill in the middle for Savannah Meyer. That's uh, two kills this set. She's... Uh, Getting on fire right here. And yes, that is a big leg brace on her left leg. As the libero, Ashlyn Chinchilli serves it to Mayberry. Quick set, Ipiani. And the ball off the tape. Joust up front, kept alive by Woodlands. The
The swing left side and blocked by Aaron and Brianna Rhodes. Like we said before, one of the smallest front row players out there, but one of the bigger hearts, and she's showing it with a huge block against Heiser. God bless. We'll give you blocking stats when we get them in. the meantime, attack on the slide, and that one, Courtney Heiser in front of Martin in the back row. And Heiser may be struggling a little bit on defense, but not offensively. What a great swing. Going back and forth right now to the delight of Oak Ridge, who has a three-point lead, is Allie Griffith with the serve. Nice dig, kept alive. Mayberry with the swing. Martin with the pass up front. Aaron down the line and off the block for the kill. And even though she didn't get the block right there, she slowed it down, got a touch on it, and then they set right back to her. She gets the kill. She's approaching a triple double with kills, blocks, or excuse me, kills, assists, and digs tonight. Yep, she got nine kills, lead her team, and she will now go back to serve. Four point lead for Oak Ridge. Off the tape, nice dig. Mayberry, kept alive by Chinchilli. Attack kept alive by the front row of Woodlands. And then probably one of her weaker hits, but Mayberry with the kill puts it in the right place as she now has 10 kills. Well, she took a little bit off it, but she got inside of the blockers and the Chinchilli was following her blockers, didn't, didn't get wide enough to stop that swing. Went Ho back to serve for the Highlanders. They trail by three. Pass up front. Aaron. Tip shot up front. Nice dig. Kept alive. Aaron sets it back. Roll return. Roll shot. Dug out. Mayberry with the swing left side. Goes cross court. Mullen sends it right back over. Mayberry again. Tip shot. Nice dig by Aaron. Attack right side, and Madison Hall with the kill. A huge rally and a, a big kill for Hall just coming off the JV squad last week, as you mentioned, stepping into a huge role tonight. Abby Fowler checks in to serve for the War Eagles. You lead it 13-9 in set three. Mayberry in the middle. Took a little bit off that one, kept alive. And the swing up butt, and Brianna Rhodes has really stepped up the last two sets. Yeah, she took advantage of the mismatch, and Coach Wade has got to take a timeout and settle her team down. they got to be more aggressive right here as they're down five points. And we'll take this timeout as well. As it is 14-9, Oak Ridge back in 30, 45 seconds, somewhere in there, here on the KMAX Sports Fight Media Network. Bite Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vibe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vibe, B-Y-P-E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vibe magazine today. Get in the game with Vibe Media. We're glad you enjoy the KMAX Sports Broadcast. But did you know that you can purchase a copy of this or any KMAX broadcast for personal use? Whether you're making a highlight video or just want to be able to enjoy this game years in the future, send us a note to info at kmaxsports.com. That's I-N-F-O at kmaxsports.com. Let us know which games you're interested in, and we'll set it up for a small fee. We can even do some editing for you. And the great thing? Any purchase will send a portion of the proceeds to your school. Enjoy the game now and keep it forever. Purchase any broadcast for personal use. Hit us up. Info at kmaxsports.com. Bringing your teams and your highlights to you. We are KMAX Sports. Mayberry with the kill up out of the timeout. Bringing Woodlands within four at 14-10. Brower with the serve. Chinchilli the pass up front. Tip shot. Wow, nice dig by, Huge. who was that? Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer with the save, and then Rhodes yep. says, I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to send it right back over. Rhodes has been amazing the last two sets for the War Eagles, who now lead it 15 to 10. So Nina Hoff. So Nina Hoff back to serve. Brower through the block, Oppenheimer. And that's huge. You, you know, Oppenheimer hasn't got a lot of sets playing out of position, but, you know, you got to change it up every now and then, give them a different look, 
and she takes advantage of the situation. 15-11, and right now it looks like we're going back and forth here. Errant with the tack on, or set on the slide, and there's that sophomore again, Madison Hall, who she's certainly not playing like a JV player just caught up. No, two kills right here in her three rotations she just had as she steps to the bench and Boydson comes back in. Playing a great, doing a great job filling in a uh, role right now. Service by Piper Boydston. Back row return Mayberry. Sent right back over by Boydston. Dump shot, dug out on the overpass. Swing, kept alive by Chinchulli. Attack on the slide, Aaron down the line and it's called out. Wow, boy, that was close. A good swing, just long. You'll take that as a coach. It's a, an aggressive swing. You know, they just got to settle down right here, get a good pass and serve receive. Four-point lead for the War Eagles here in set three. Woodlands won the first set 21. Oak Ridge came back, won the second set 20 as the swing off the front line. Attack on the slide, that dig, and that one will go out. It'll be a kill for Emma Hutton. Makes it a three-point set at 16-13. I didn't see who it was for Oak Ridge that made the nice dig, but unfortunately just went a bit too far over the bench. Yeah, it was Boydston, and a couple of her uh, last dig attempts have gone wide or over the net. Murphy with the serve. Martin on the receive. Martin gets it back on the right side. Nice dig by Brower. Murphy, and a free ball sent over to Oak Ridge. Boydston. Attack on the slide, and the block goes out. And Meyer on the slide. Moving the ball around. Trying to lead her team right now. Maintain the lead. Four hitters for Oak Ridge have at least five kills. They're distributing the ball a little bit more than the Woodlands is. If Yachty. She now has five. That is three players on the Woodland side that have at least five kills. So see, it's that media jinx thing. Once you say something, boom, the opposite happens. <laughs> Automatically. Exactly. 17-14. Ogridge here in set three. Tied at one apiece. Boydson. Errant dug out by Murphy. Kept alive by Mayberry. Touch free ball, if you will. Yep. Wondering about the call there. Oh, and the swing and the wide hit by Mullen. Unforced error makes it a two-point set. You're smiling just, about something. Just, yeah, you said it uh, a little bit uh, questionable, but uh, we keep playing. Heiser, nice dig by Chincholi. Back row returned by Martin. Nice dig in the back row there. Heiser with the swing, dug out by Martin. Aaron off the slide and tries to go down the line, but it's out. If you're a fan of defense, you're really enjoying this match. Oh, yeah. Great saves on either side. Kind of a little momentum swing right here with the Woodlands. Quick set. Dug out by Murphy. And that one. Bad set there. Heiser tried to do something with it. Couldn't. That ends the 4-0 run for the Woodlands. As Chinchilli goes back to serve for Oak Ridge up 18-16 in set three. Again, email open Chuck C H U C K at KMAC Sports.com. That is service error number 11 on the night for the War Eagles. Three or four this set already. Yep. And they're up by one, but it doesn't feel like that right now as the Woodlands has gone a little bit a uh, little bit of a run here. Allie Griffith to serve. Chinchilli. Boydston, attack on the slide, Aaron. They got by Murphy. Brower, quick set. If Yanni blocked the front, kept alive. Chinchilli sets it. Aaron, tip shot. And that will go for a kill. So Aaron hit a couple long, and then she just tips it right over the top of the block, finds a way to get a kill. Just a smart veteran play. And she will go back to serve her team up. And Aaron now with 10 kills to the back row, and that one is out. Woo, nice adjustment, and judgment call by Weidemeyer. 19-18. Went hell back to serve for the Highlanders. You feel that tension right now. Oh yeah, right? Neither side. 
Martin off the server C. And through the front line. You know, Oak Ridge has scored a lot of points setting to the right side, whether it's their outside hitters over there or their right side or running a slide. They're really using the hands or going hitting off the hands of the pin hitters of the Woodlands. 2018. And that one won't make the net. Ace from Abby Fowler. Third ace of the match for Woodlands. They tie up. I'm sorry, for Oak Ridge, rather. They tie up Woodlands at three aces apiece, but that one, a big one, makes it a three-point lead at 21-18. Right here, Browers in the front row. I'd watch her ready to attack or setting out to Mayberry right here. Browers sets it for Mayberry and cross-court kill. Mayberry now leads everybody with 12 kills. Brings her team back one in two. Is coming in to serve as Emma Hutton. Or, I'm sorry, Emma Hutton checks in as Brower goes back to serve. Ace. Wow. Right back at you, Brower with the ace on Fowler. Oh, wait a minute. The down official at the scorer's table not sure what the discussion is here. Doing a score check. Checking how many subs they have. All right, we are set to go. 21-20 is the score you've seen on your screen. Brower with the serve. Martin to pass up front. Errant sends it to Rhodes. Dug out. And Hutton is blocked in front. And Brianna Rhodes is having a heck of a set again. Second in a row for her. Things that go unnoticed. That little play, that tip over shot that forced Brower to go back and their block the Oak Ridge blockers had two blockers there to shut down Hutton. Served by Hoff. Or Huff rather. And Brower. Problem off the pass. Brower pointing at something. I'm not sure what she's looking they for. They thought Oak Ridge touched the ball oh, when it okay. went on the top of the tape. But an ace. For Nina Hoff off the bench for Oak Ridge. Boy, and how much has Oak Ridge changed the momentum since losing that first set? They really have, and Coach Wade had to take her second time out as they're down 20 to 23. You know, they're getting a little, uh, trying to look for things. You know, they're still arguing with the referee as saying the ball went off Oak Ridge's hands on that last ace. You know, Oak Ridge is, at, even though they've missed some serves this second set, they've really controlled the tempo of the of this set and are starting to take control of this whole match here. They'll come out of the Woodlands timeout. Nina Huff back to serve the senior. Two points away from taking a two sets to one lead here on the home court. This is exactly what we expected out of these two teams, correct? <laughs> This is what high school sports and rivalry matches are all about. Service by Huff out of the timeout. Brower sets it for Mayberry. And Mayberry will get the kill as the block goes out. Mayberry now with 13 kills. More importantly, brings her team back within two. Oak Ridge knew where they were trying to get the ball to, but Mayberry was even smarter, went off the hands. She knew what she was doing right away. Service, pass up front. Martin with the swing. Get the live by Murphy. Heiser with a change up, if you will. Kept alive. Nice dig, but not able to convert is Woodlands. Maddie Hall with her third kill. We got set point for Oak Ridge. She's got five kills now. The fifth player with five kills as Piper Boykson to serve for the third set. Service, oh, just over the tape. Brower sets it, Heiser swing left side and finds the back row. Keeping her team alive, but they still need at least two more. And that's just great placement from Heiser, the deep corner where no defender is. As Murphy's back to serve, still set point number two for Oak Ridge. Murphy on the line. 
<clears throat> Pass up front. Boyd, Boydston, swing by Martin, kept alive by Murphy. Dump shot, dug out by Chinchilli. Attack right side, Eric into the net. Unforced error, and it's 24-23. Set point number three. I thought, thought she was looking at the yeah. timeout, but said no. She's trusting her team. We'll send a little message here. Hey, we got this. Let's see if Crowley's gamble pays off as a serve. That got by Martin. Aaron, tip shot, pass the front oh, line. Right there. Wow. Hit him where they ain't. Woo, baby. Nobody Aaron. moved for that one. Just a smart play by Kenzie Aaron. I think your 10th kill, maybe. How about 11? 11. That was a big one there, 25-23. Oak Ridge takes a two sets to one lead. Let's take a break. Give us a chance to kind of catch our breath here. What a great match. Set number four coming up here next on the KMAX Sports Bite Media Network. Bite Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media. Pick up your Bite Magazine today. Get in the game with Bite Media. At Austin Pets Alive, the mission is to promote and This is the KMAX Sports Network. And this is what we do. Looking left, throws into the end zone. Bad snap again, he hits the turf. And Doug Hall scoops it up, Cameron Wilkins has it. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Let us broadcast your team. Send an email to Merle at KMAXSports.com or Chuck at KMAXSports.com to find out how. Side, he's got blockers in front of him. Touchdown. Touchdown. Five. Touchdown. Yes, sir. It's what we do, and nobody does it better. We are KMAX Sports. This is the KMAX Sports Network. Well... The song is called Give a Little Bit, and right now there's a little bit of momentum on the home team side as Oak Ridge will go left to right, up two sets to one. Mr. Joe Lynn, your thoughts? It's just a turn of events here from that first set where Woodland just kind of had control for the most part. You know, Oak Ridge has controlled their emotions. They've served tougher. You know, they're, uh, we were just talking in the break, they're passing better, and that's huge because they can – set up whoever they want if they're in system with a good pass. Up two sets to one now is Oak Ridge, who lost the first set 25-21, won the second set 25-20, and won the third set 25-23. Kind of some momentum changes in the fact that Oak Ridge has quit having service errors for the most part. Woodlands had a little run there where they were having net violations that helped out. It Helped yeah, close set two and then started set three. Yeah, at the end of set two at a critical point of the of the whole match, really, when, you know, they could have taken a 2-0 lead. Instead, they go tied into the third set, and uh, Oak Ridge has gone on from there where it was a close battle back and forth. They just made more plays at the end of the match when it mattered, or end of the set, I should say. We'll get ready for set number four. Thanks to Cena Venkat, our... KMAX Sports Director and Producer here tonight. Also, Mr. Todd James manning the camera. Todd doing such a great job getting himself involved with the community. He knows Conroe ISD, knows all the folks, all the people that you need to know in this school district. And you had mentioned before about what a great job Todd James does for student athletes here in Houston. Yeah, he just, you know, like I said, cares about youth sports and high school sports, club sports, all of it, you know, just getting the exposure out there and sharing the stories that matter. Mackenzie Arendt to serve for Oak Ridge up two sets to one. If they can win this third set, they'll win the match. In their attempt to go up front, but Mayberry opens up and says, no. Off an Arendt pass, not to be confused with Mackenzie Arendt, but. Right. <laughs> You know, takes a great swing off of offset. Huge kill to start offset four. Amanda Ippiani with the serve. And the quick set, Brianna Rhodes continues her run. Coming alive in set two, and boy, she has been a factor. Has number five as Oakridge sides at a one. And she's 
getting all of her kills, swinging back to right back. And if uh, Woodlands can adjust a little bit, they could stop her. But Rhodes is really playing well right now. Tip shot to the back line, kept alive by Oak Ridge. A big save by Fowler. Attack Mayberry. And Mayberry with her second kill of the set. She's now got 15 on the match. Woodlands up 2-1 to one as Emma Hutton comes in. The front, front row. And that was kind of the difference in the second and third sets for Oak Ridge. They slowed down either blocking or getting good touches. Digging Dylan Mayberry and right there she's got two quick kills to start this fourth set. Clara Brower with the serve into the net. Service error number six for the Woodlands. More importantly makes it now two to two. The crowd again a little bit of a factor now that Woodlands is on the uh, student section side for Oak Ridge. Nina Huff back to serve the senior. And serves up an ace. Mayberry not able to handle it. And Oak Ridge is, Coach Crowley and Oak Ridge, they're going after Mayberry. And she couldn't handle that great serve from Nina Hoff. Nina Hoff with the fourth ace and then hits it into the net. Service error number 12 overall for the War Eagles. We're tied at three. That's, uh, that's a trade-off you can kind of live with because you got the ace and you get the error. But, it, again, still frustrating. Dylan Mayberry. The Woodlands is continuing to serve Natalie Martin. Attack right side and goes out. Point for the Woodlands, they're up four to three. Roke Ridge was actually off the block. As Boydson checks back in. And she serves it up. Brower, back row return Mayberry. And that one goes in. In front of the front line, Mayberry now with 16 kills. Ties it up at four. And that's a great spot to swing to for, for Mayberry, but Oak Ridge has got to make a move on that ball because it wasn't especially fast or hard driven, just well placed. Georgia Murphy to serve. Oh, and it goes out. Oh, second service error of the set for Woodlands. Home team takes a 5-4 lead and following the script of the first three sets, we go point by point early on. And Murphy, the Oregon commit, usually pretty steady from the service line. Attack on the hut, the swing by Heiser. Nice dig by Martin. And then Aaron slams on home for the good for the home team. Boydson doing a good job moving the ball around, finding McKenzie for the kill. Six to four, Oak Ridge. Martin with the serve. Quick set, Ibiani off the block, kept alive by Chinchuli. Great Attack. touch on the block. Huge save from Chinchuli, but Mullen just hits it wide. Mm. Point for Woodlands. They're back with a one and six to five. And they will send back Bailey Weidemeyer to serve. Nice dig off the serve receive. Hit by Mullen. Free ball sent over. Mayberry to pass up front. Quick set, Ippiani. And that was smart. Uh, Brower jump set that ball, froze her blocker, so if any didn't have many blockers to go against. Service by Weidemeyer again. Oh! Pump on the server seat, but kept alive. Free ball sent over to the Woodlands. Brower sets it up on the hut. The block by Eric goes out. Point Woodlands. They've now taken a 7-6 lead, a 3-0 run here for the Highlanders. Smart swing off the hands from Heiser. The problem on the server seat. Free ball sent over again. Attack on the side. That's going to be a double. Uh, pretty athletic play. That was a heck of an athletic set there. Her body going to the left and the set going to the right. And that's that's tough from a setter or a coach's point of view because it, you feel like that's a pretty clean set. Now you're thinking about, okay, I got called for a double. Now what's going to happen? 
Brower with the kill. Woodlands retakes the lead at eight to seven. Five kills now for, I'm sorry, nine kills Heiser. for Brower. Or Heiser, I'm sorry, Heiser, thank you. Heiser. He's jumping all over the place, it kind of fooled you. <laughs> she does have five kills now by our count as the service over. Dug out by Martin. Mullum dug out by Griffith and then hammered home. Oh, that's a huge dig by Griffith, and then wow. Brower sends it right to Mayberry. Too fast for Oak Ridge to make an adjustment. Wow. Griffith started this set and this whole, this match serving, and she's done a good job in the back row. Her team up 9-7. to seven. They need to win this, and that one will go float out. Like you said, right when I give someone praise. Exactly. <laughs> media jinx. The old media jinx. Service error number eight on the Highlanders. As Errant back to serve. Her team trailing by one to the back row. Dug out by Griffith. Mayberry with the swing. Nice dig by Errant. That one off the hand of Hall and then another great dig. And Julie and Errant making huge digs off of Mayberry. Walked up front, kept alive, and not returned. Point for Woodlands. Great rally back and forth. That was. Like you said, if you love defensive volleyball, you're getting a treat tonight. Say hello to Miss Rosie back in the KMAX studios, and that's another floating service error. That's now nine on the Highlanders as Abby Fowler back to serve. And it, like you said, uh, it can be contagious back there in the service line. Mm -hmm. Someone in front of you or you served it out the time before, you're thinking about it. Wow, that one looked like it was headed out, but it'll be an ace. Ace for Fowler. Four aces now for the War Eagles. Was it just me or was that one headed it, out? It looked like he was going out and you know it as a player. You're like, oh man, I send it and you just want to send a thank you note to the player that played it. Meantime, Mayberry. <laughs> wow. Bounced it in front of Chinchuli. I'll tell you what. There are times, like I said, the great hitters like Mayberry, they go up. You can see they've got the perfect angle, the perfect swing, and there's just nothing stopping them. Put your team up by one as the serve over. Chinchuli off the serve receive. Adjustment by Hall. Kept alive. Hutton to the back row. Swing left side, and Martin finds the hole. Natalie Martin. Martin taking advantage of the, of the block and the mismatch. Tied at 11 as Nina Hoff back to serve for the War Eagles. Mayberry gets it back. Well, I'll tell you what, Mayberry's finding her swing. She is getting some really good hops here in this set. She's just in a rhythm. And, you know, they're still trying to serve at her. She gets a perfect pass, gets a good approach, gets inside the blocker for the kill. And oh, by the way, 19 kills by our count for Mayberry. Martin with the swing that goes off the block. Point Oak Ridge. Battle back and forth. Martin with the kill. Mayberry with the kill. Back and forth here. The Eminem girls. Yeah. Martin Mayberry. Martin, by the way, now with seven kills. Service by Boydston. Oh, and the ace. Her first, team sixth. And it's 13-12. Serving at Mayberry, see if she can handle it. And that one in! Back Two to back! In a row. Fourteen to twelve. Service. Attack right side. Dug out. Big touch on the block, even bigger dig. Right back to Martin for the kill. Coach Wade's got to take a timeout with her squad down 12 to 15. 
in a crucial deciding fourth set. Coach Wade's telling Mayberry she's going to keep getting served. we got to get production. And Boydston's in a rhythm back there for Oak Ridge. A big smile across her face. Oak Ridge is feeling good. Up 15 to 12. Service. Kept alive and that one's going to be out. Another service ace. Oh my goodness. Three aces in this run by Boydston. Makes it 16 to 12. Boydston, and that one's okay. Yeah, you'll take that. You get three aces out of out of that run, you'll take that uh, that miss at the end, especially when you gave your team a three-point cushion now. Absolutely. 16-13. War Eagles trying to close out the set. If they win it, they'll close out the match. Meantime, Murphy serve, handled, and then Martin blocked the front, Ibiani. Her third block. Makes Huge it 16 any. Georgia Murphy to serve. Her team down by two, 16 14. And that one goes out. Oh my. Just long. That's a great serve, but just long. 17 14. On the service air. That's now 10 service errors. For the Highlanders. Pass up front, Murphy. Quick set. Ippiani. Over the top. Good swing. Makes it 17-15. Hutton checking in. You know, the Woodlands may out, at, out uh, perform Oak Ridge in the athleticism department. But uh, Oak Ridge is really executing the serve and pass game. Ippiani to the back row and it finds real estate. Wow. Coming alive for the Woodlands. Amanda Ippiani. 17-16. Cross court and that falls in. Bailey Weidemeyer. Oh, wait a minute. An ace. Okay, it is an ace. Tied at 17. That's the game of volleyball. Momentum can shift that quickly. And it is a big shift. Attack, dug out by Murphy. Swing right side, Heiser kept alive. Boydson sets it. Mullen, quick set, Epiani, but she hits it out. Attack error gives Oakwards an 18-17 lead. Big, huge point right there. Quick set, Fiani dumps it in. Just a smart play, didn't quite get the full approach she needed to, and tips it over the top of the block. So Heiser checks out, Griffith back in. Tied at 18. Attack coming left side. Mullen, dug out. Griffith, and then nice hit, but kept alive. Good defense. And they sent over the free ball. Great D by the War Eagles. Mayberry with the swing and finds the back corner, the top and corner. Mayberry now with 20 kills. Puts her team up 19-18 here in set number four. Big point of the set right here. Woodlands has taken the momentum. Now up 19-18. Visiting team up by one. Service over, Martin with the dig. Attack right side, blocked in front. The 9-10 block combo. And timeout. Taken by Coach Rachel Crowley. 
Oak Ridge has backed off a little bit the last five to six points, and Woodlands has just taken advantage of that. Serving aggressively, the passing of Oak Ridge has been a little bit off, and then the blocking has really stepped up. 2018 Woodlands. They trail it two sets to one. They have to win this set to force a fifth and deciding set. Thanks very much to Cena Venkat, Todd James, the production crew. I understand we had a little frozen video there for about four or five points, but we're back live. Thanks to the hustle of our crew. Out of the timeout, service by Griffith. Martin lets it go and it falls in. Oh my goodness. Wow. Boy, you talk about momentum change. It can change on a dime. 21-18 Woodlands. Griffiths has just been cool, calm, and collected back there in the service line. To the back row. Aaron with the roll shot. Brower, quick set. And Payani, oh boy. That's number 10 come alive here in set four. Yeah, and that's too easy of a ball centered by Aaron. And Brower fakes him out with the jump set. No blockers are up with Ifayani. And that cannot happen. 22-18. Again, Woodlands has to win this set to force a fit and deciding set. Dug out by Chinchuli. Attack right side by Mullen. Nice dig in the back row by Weidemeyer. Weidemeyer. And then the ball does not go over. Unforced error point for Oak Ridge. Rhodes with the block. Ifiani couldn't make a play on it. I've got four solos and three block assists for Rhodes. All roads closed. But <laughs> up bump. Swing in the back row uh, through the front line, Mayberry. Block was too early. Mayberry is off the net, makes a good swing for another kill. Boy, she found a range this set. She Woo. really has. 21 kills for number nine. Ipiani with the serve. Quick set. Dug out by Ipiani in the back row. Mayberry with the swing. <laughs> through the hands of two defenders and it's set point for the Woodlands. Whenever your middle can get the dig, everybody gets excited and they get the ball right back to Mayberry for the kill. Set point number one for the Woodlands. The force of fit and deciding set. And that one is a miss hit up front. Set point 25-19 and Mr. Joe Lynn, is anybody surprised we're going to fifth and deciding set? I mean, what else do you expect right here in this rivalry matchup? Absolutely amazing. Two captains going to meet in the middle. We'll take a break and uh, give everybody a chance to kind of catch their breath. You are watching Woodlands and Oak Ridge Volleyball here on the KMAX Sports Bike Media Network. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAX Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact, KMAX Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAX Sports broadcast any of those sports, just reach out to chuck at kmaxsports.com or merle at kmaxsports.com or contact that sports booster club directly. KMAX Sports will gladly work with you and the booster clubs to get that team's broadcasts on the air. And if you're a fan of the other team, well, we can broadcast your team's games too. We realize that, yes, even in Texas, there's more to life than just football. KMAX Sports, bringing your teams to you for 14 years. Bike Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vipe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vipe, B Y P E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vipe magazine today. Get in the game with Vipe Media. This is the KMAX Sports Network. And this is what we do. Looking left, throws into the end zone. Bad snap again, he hits the turf. And, and Devon scoops it up, Cameron Wilkins has it. corner on the end zone. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Let us broadcast your team. Send an email to Merle at KMAXSports.com or Chuck at KMAXSports.com to find out how. Side, he's got blockers in front of him. Touchdown. Touchdown. Five. Touchdown. Yes, sir. It's what we do. And nobody does it better. We are KMAX Sports. 
Hey, have you liked us on Facebook yet? Whoa, 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 whoa. stop right there. Well, why not? Search KMAXSports.com and like us now. From West Texas all the way to the bayou and all points in between. I saw miles and miles of Texas. All the this is the KMAC Sports Network, the bringing your teams to you. Here we go. Pitch the siding set. Outward's going to go right to left. Woodland's going to go left to right. Mr. Joe Lynn in the fifth and deciding set of a big match like this. What can sometimes be a wild card factor that gives one team the edge over the other one? Or yeah. maybe a couple different wild cards. It still comes down to what's gotten them to this point. It, it, it really goes back to basic beginning volleyball serve and pass. You know, Oak Ridge couldn't quite handle the serve that well in the last set, and that was the determining factor. You know, and Griffiths is back there to start off this first set serving. Attack right side. Set back by Rhodes. Mayberry with the swing. Oh, and through the block that time. Mayberry now, by our count, 23 kills. More importantly, a one nothing lead. Don't forget, set five, we go to 15. We don't go to 25, we go to 15. Yeah, so you, get a, you have to get off to a fast start when you're only going to 15. Off the tape, dug out by Chinchuli. Boyce in the set on the slide. Aaron, and a lift called. Unforced error off the block of Woodlands, and they're up 2 nothing. Thanks again, Suna Benkat, Todd James, our production crew here. We love Mr. Todd James with Bite Media. Done such a great job for the community. Swing by Mullen. Kept alive by Mayberry. Mayberry with the swing. Hits it off the tape. First point for Oak Ridge here. They make it a 2-1 game and possibly their MVP of the night. Aaron back to serve. Yeah, Aaron's doing it all. You know, we got to give a shout out to Chinchuli too, making huge saves from the libero position for Oak Ridge. Wow, and just over the net, Woodlands. Joust up front. And that will be, oh, a net violation. The Colin Mullen, I think, on a net violation on the joust. Coach Crowley's arguing that's not his call to make. That's the down official's call to call the net. Wow. So Woodlands with the point, up three to one. To the back row, Chinchuli. Aaron with the set, back row return for Martin. Dug out by Ippiani. Wow, almost breaking the net was Mayberry as you heard our little 3D sound on the crowd microphone that is taped to the far side post. Mayberry, 24 kills, has her team up 4-1 to one in set, set 5. And a couple of those last swings are uh, a little bit low off the tape as the serve goes long from Ifiani. But they're going to keep, they're going to keep setting her because she's their kill leader. Service error number 11 for the Woodlands. It's four to two in the fifth and deciding set. Service by Fowler. High return, or high pass rather. Free ball sent over. That's a big save from Brower. Oh my! <laughs> Brianna Rhodes has had a lot of kills, but none prettier than that one. Kill number eight, and her team back within one. She's feeling it. She only had one blocker, and she didn't even come near and put it straight down. Attack on the hut. Nice dig by Chincholi off the hit by Mayberry. Martin with the roll shot. Brower sends it back. Cross court. Shot by Hall. Kept alive, and that will go out. And that's a tough ball to defend. That sharp, sharp angle shot from... Mayberry with another kill. Third or fourth this set. Yep. She got 25 overall, 5 to 3. Woodlands. Again, we go to 15 as Brower serves it. Set. Rhodes. Tell you what, 
I don't know what Coach said to her after the first set, but Brianna Rhodes has just been dynamite for her team here in the second, last couple sets. She's feeling it right now, and as she steps off the bench, or off to the bench, I should say. And then welcome in Amelia Oppenheimer with the kill. She now got six. It's now six to four Woodlands in the fifth deciding set. Again, we play to 15. Mayberry, Dylan Mayberry, the senior back to serve. Pass up front from Fowler. Martin, roll shot. Dug out by Brower. Set by Murphy. And net violation on the Woodlands. A little too easy on the send over, but a little too aggressive on the Woodlands. Another net violation. Was that a tight set? I couldn't see somebody in front of me. It's a little tight. Piper Boydston to serve. Brower sets it left side. Heiser kept alive by Oak Ridge. Quick set. And then fighting real estate in the back row. I don't think there's too many people that have more passion than Savannah Meyer. Wow. She was on her feet. She didn't really jump, but she found a way to get it in the corner and just drops to her knees after that, after that kill. Service by, oh, and service error by Boydston. Seven to six now. In every, favor of Woodlands. Every unforced error is magnified when you're only playing to 15 in the deciding set. Courtney, Courtney Heiser, I'm sorry, Georgia Murphy back to serve. Sends it to the right side, dug out by Martin. Left side swing by Aaron. And then through the block is the aforementioned Courtney Heiser. So I knew she was coming. <laughs> Just a matter of, you know, you got little it. delay on that. She now has 10 kills, eight to six in favor of Woodlands. Georgia Murphy to serve again. Off the tape, nice dig by Martin. Attack on the hut. Aaron with the tip shot. Nice dig by Brower. Heiser through the block. Nice save there by Boydston. Martin with the swing. They got by Mayberry. Off the roof. Kept alive. Heiser. Oh, looked like a good dig. But up, up ref called it a lift on Boydston as the Woodlands takes a 9-6 to six lead and a timeout from Coach Crowley. So give me another chance to talk about TAV Houston. Yeah, we're getting a uh, free pub with all these extra sets, right? That's right. You know, like I said before, you know, we're a youth volleyball club. we got a lot of teams, uh, but we're in it to get our kids to play at the next level, whatever that level is. Maybe just trying to make your school team, you know, playing college. we got developmental for the little kids. we got beach. We've got a lot of different programs. TAVHouston.com. You made a deal with TAV, right? Every time you mention them, they pay you five, ten bucks, something like that, right? So. <laughs> he time out the timeout. Murphy with the serve, quick set. And miss the motion. Savannah Meyer, another kill that's set for her. He's moving it around, hitting both sides of the court. Nine to seven, Woodlands with the lead as number seven. Martin back to serve for the War Eagles. In front of Mayberry, she gets it alive. And then Ipliani. Mayberry's like, whoa, because she almost got ace there and gets the pass right to Brower and over the top. Don't and forget, Ipiani. we play to 15. It's now five points away as Woodlands as they lead it 10 to 7. Sorry, I didn't mean to run. Oh, it's all good. Service over. Martin with the serve receive. Mullen, back row return. And that violation. On Woodlands, wow. Another one. You know, Oak Ridge isn't quite handling the ball right, ball well right now, and you know, they'll take any point they can get right now. Chincholi back to serve. Joust kept alive for Bionni. Swing for Aaron blocked in front by Bionni. She now has four blocks and a block assist. None bigger than that right now with 
the deciding set up 11 to eight. Four points away are the Highlanders. Up 11 to eight. Oakridge needs a run. Mullen on the serve receive. She'll get it back on the left side. Oh, and hits it too, too hard. Unforced error. Now three points away as Woodland's up 12 to eight. Chinchilli, quick set, if Fiona keeps it alive. Mayberry with the swing, blocked in front, and it goes out. Off the hands, Mayberry oh. again. Timeout, Rachel Crowley, her team down by five, but more importantly, three points away from losing the fifth and deciding set. Here's some stats for you. Mayberry with 26 kills by our count. Ipiani has 11 kills. She has four blocks and a block assist. 10 kills for Courtney Heiser. Six kills for Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer also has a block. On the Oakland side, wow. Nichols, or Brianna Rhodes rather, she has four solos, she has three block assists, and she has nine kills. Aaron with 12 kills to go with a block assist. As we come back to play out of the timeout, Mayberry swing, back out, Chinchilli. Back row return, Martin off the tape and over the net. <laughs> Luckily off the hands, off the tape. Martin's counter lucky stars right there. And you saw Martin kind of put her hand over her head like, oh my God, did that really fall? That's what they needed. They're back in it, but they need some points in a hurry. Trailing 13 to nine. Dug out. Quick set, Mayberry. Nice dig, Chinchilli. Joust, kept alive. Mullen blocked in front. Reset. Rhodes, nice dig in the back row there. Mayberry swing, dug out by Martin. Mullen, block, kept her alive. Chinchilli, free ball sent over by Hall. Mayberry, in the back row. And it's set and match point for Woodlands. It's just too quick to stop. That fast tempo inside set, the only way she can go is cross court. Brianna Rhodes couldn't get all the way over there. Over there. 14-9, set and match point for the Highlanders. Ipiani floats it back. Aaron, back will return, Martin. And it's out. And that's wow. the match. Oh my goodness. 15 to nine. What a treat. That was <laughs> just an outstanding match back and forth. Unfortunate it had to end on an unforced error, but just great plays on either side of the net. Both teams, you, you, could, ju you could just feel the emotion on either side, the rivalry, the just the intensity back and forth. We'll take this break, come back, we'll give you a post game. You're watching the broadcast here on the KMAX Sports Bite Media <laughs> Network. Bite Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vipe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vipe, B Y P E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vipe magazine today. Get in the game with Vipe Media. This is the K Max Sports. This is the K Max Sports Network. And this is what we do. Looking left, throws into the end. That's up again. He hits the turf. And Deb Hoss gives it up. Cameron Wilkins has it. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Let us broadcast your team. Send an email to Merle at KMAXSports.com or Chuck at KMAXSports.com to find out how. Side, he's got blockers in front of him. Touchdown. Touchdown. Five. Touchdown. Yes, sir. It's what we do. And nobody does it better. We are KMAX Sports. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAX Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact, KMAX Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. 
For more information on how you can help KMAX Sports broadcast any of those sports, just reach out to chuck at kmaxsports.com or merle at kmaxsports.com or contact that sports booster club directly. KMAX Sports will gladly work with you and the booster clubs to get that team's broadcasts on the air. And if you're a fan of the other team, well, we can broadcast your team's games too. We realize that, yes, even in Texas, there's more to life than just football. KMAX Sports, bringing your teams to you for 14 years. This is the KMAX Sports Network. Back here live, we'll give you a quick post game. Uh, Mr. Joe, I appreciate your time. Uh, give us your thoughts on players of the, the match for each team. I think uh, you're talking about the, the winning team. you got to go with Dylan Mayberry. You know, to at least 26 kills by our count. You know, she... Uh, Answered the call. Had a little struggle there in uh, sets two and three, but really uh, stepped it up and just took over the match in set four and set five. You know, for Oak Ridge, I think you got to go with Kenzie Arendt hitting, setting, defending, blocking, you know, all five, seven of her. You know, the Dartmouth commit, she's, you know, heart and soul and just on the wrong end of it at the end there. Huge thank you to Miss Rosie back at the KMAX Studios. Huge thank you to Suna Venkat here at the gym. And uh, huge, huge thank you to Todd James and everybody from Bite Media as we wrap things up. Once again, Oak Ridge falling to Woodlands in five sets, 25-21, 20-25, 23-25, 25-19, and 15-9. For everybody at KMAX Sports, I'm Chuck Licata. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on the KMAX Sports Bite Media Network. Good night, everybody.